Hello, and welcome to the first episode of What's New With. This is a new series where I talk about what's new with things like Transformers and Warhammer. I was going to do Gunpla also, but I think that upcoming Gunpla is at an end, as it's becoming too tedious for me to keep up with all the shit that Bandai releases, and there are better channels for Gunpla and Model Kit news in general. With that out of the way, this is the first episode where I'm going to be talking about Warhammer stuff. Before I start, I'm going to be taking a lot of information from the Warhammer community website, but I will not say everything word for word, but I will include everything that is important. So, what's new with Warhammer? Let's find out. Starting with Warhammer 40k, there is a new mission pack for Warhammer 40,000 coming out that is called Amidst the Ashes. Here is what the article in Warhammer Community has to say on this. When your forces are assailed by the servants of Nurgle, it's not just the plague god's legions or mortal and demonic servants you must face, nor even the threat of virulent diseases taking root. The foetid fallout left in their wake is extremely hazardous in its own right. Sounds pretty disgusting, right? Well, how about fighting amid floating fat bergs? Amidst the Ashes, the second mission pack, set in the ongoing conflict of Warzone Sheridan, is designed to complement the developments in the Book of Fire and puts your crusade force right in the heart of this rather unpleasant environment. In fact, one of the combat patrol missions is called Fatbird Clearance and challenges the attacker to collapse the entrances of a tunnel network that the defender has hollowed out within one of these unsightly abominations. By destroying key objectives on the battlefield, the attacker will prevent the defender from being able to deploy their strategic reserves from the Fatberg tunnels to outflank them. The mission pack includes a total of 24 narrative play missions for your Crusade games, a set of 6 for each of the recommended game sizes, all of which immerses you in the setting of Warzone Sheridan as the worlds of the embattled sector succumb to Nurgle's corruption. Amidst the Ashes contains a lot of flavorful extra rules in addition to the missions themselves. If you look if you're looking to send your crusade force into Warzone Sheridan or continue its campaign exploits there from the Plague Purge mission pack, then you'll be able to choose from a number of new agendas. You can also awaken the machine spirits of your vehicles and even corrupt the minds of your psychers with new requisition, thereby unlocking new upgrade trees that offer access to powerful new abilities, psychic powers, and stratagems. The next thing that we have is all about White Dwarf issue number 466. Here's what the Warhammer community site has on that. July's edition of White Dwarf is packed full of new narrative missions and rules for Warhammer 40k, as well as a City of Sigmar kit bashing masterclass for inhabitants of the mortal realms. There's also plenty of Aeronautica and Imperialist pilots, Avaris lighter enthusiasts rejoice, and Blood Bowl players to dig into. Nostalgia is the point of pride in this month's magazine too. Not only is issue 466 full of fun stuff for the newest campaigns in the Imperium Nihilus, but Jervis Johnson himself is taking us on a tour of some of his very favorite battle reports from White Dwarf through the decades. Flashpoint Octarius. This month's issue is a veritable trove of wonders for Warhammer 40k players. The reason? Flashpoint Octarius. Now, some of you might recognize that name from a certain Warhammer preview online. Flashpoint de details High Fleet Leviathan's arrival in the Octarius sector. The Salamanders, successor chapter, the Dark Krakens, are there to meet the threat, and July's White Dwarf contains an awesome mission and rules with which you can recreate the engagement. There are even data sheets for two crack dark krakens named characters, Captain Krynji Kry Krygenji Krygenji? 
uh, Crygenzoi, Lucior, and Lexicanium Peron Uri. By the way, the mission takes place under the sea. Fantastical Realms, Cities of Sigmar. This month's installment of the Fantastical Realms offers no fewer than 10 pages of powerful hobby inspiration, breaking down some of the most prominent cities of Sigmar, their color schemes, and the themes upon which they're built. You'll find a spread of incredible conversion ideas to make sure your army stands out on the tabletop. Follow that up with a pair of beautifully constructed and varied army showcases, and we challenge you not to feel motivated to bring your own magical metropolises to life. Red Cards and Rule Keepers Blood Bowl players might be firmly, and understandably, of the opinion that referees should keep their opinions to themselves. Unfortunately, that's not for them to decide. And this suite of new rules offers you not just new ways to deal with misbehaving players, but profiles for you two unique referees, Elnos Lawkeeper and Red Cur Forge Bearer or Forge Beard. Complete with their own characteristics and special rules, referees can now take a very real part in games and depending on your playstyle, might act as stalwart and noble lawkeepers. Or not. White Dwarf issue number 466 will be available to pre-order from July 10th and will be in stores July 16th. Lastly, we have some news related to uh, what's new from the Black Library. This week's Black Library pre-orders are dominated by the return of the Candian 101st and their indomitable sergeant Minka Les. Last seen in Candian honor, Lesk and her fellow soldiers find themselves embroiled in a bloody stalemate when traitor forces on the planet Malari retreat to a nigh-impregnable island fortress. As the Candians struggle through sacrifice and brutal attrition, they must come to terms with the loss of their homeworld and find an answer to the haunting question, what does it mean to be one of the vaunted Candians in a galaxy without Cadia. Trader Rock is available in hardback, ebook, and mp3, and you can continue the story whichever way suits you. Meanwhile, the fifth classic tale of Gortrek and his long-suffering chronicler, chronicler Felix joins the, br the burgeoning library of audiobooks with Beast Slayer by William King. Chaos stirs in the Kislevite city of Prague, and a colossal horde of evil forces lays siege to the city. The only thing standing between them and damnation is the doom-seeking slayer Gortrek Gernison and Felix. Ever ready to throw himself towards a heroic death, Gortrek may just get his wish as an immortal champion and their sor sorceress entourage lead the army of chaos in an all-out attack. If enjoying the chronicles of Gortrek and Felix in book format is more your thing, you can get them in ebook right now from the Black Library. And finally, the definitive expose of perhaps the most mysterious Primark is coming to French language. Um, I don't know how to say any of that. It's the Alpharius book. And the latest book in the Primarch series dives into the circumstances surrounding the Primarch's discovery by the Emperor in revelations that will shake your understanding of the Great Crusade to the core. Alas, as the story is recounted by Alpharius himself, can you truly trust everything that comes from the serpent's mouth, or is this simply another masterwork of obfuscation from the Lord of the Alpha Legion? And there you go. That is all for what's new with Warhammer. That's all I have to say, so if you are out of the conversation, leave a comment below. As always, thanks for listening, and goodbye.